I had started a podcast back in 2014. I think it was called the Lewis Lee Podcast Hour. And that podcast lasted all of four episodes. I interviewed a friend from college for the first episode and wound up interviewing my grandma for the last episode. And it was something that I regret stopping. I regret not having that episode uh, with my grandma. That's something that I should have kept and hung on to for the rest of my life. But looking at it from a marketing perspective, from a business perspective, in 2014, podcasts were not as nearly popular as they are today. And when you look at technologies such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and now podcasts, a pattern that emerges with these types of media is that the people that start early and adopt the technology when it first begins has a massive amount of, of advantage of leveraging the platform and maximizing the amount of reach that they receive because of the low levels of competition. And in 2014, I was inspired to start the podcast because of the Joe Rogan experience I had been following uh, Joe Rogan and his podcast for about a year, and I remember uh, how often he was talking about not only how popular the podcast was back then, but how it was growing and how it was continuing to grow um, every episode. And not only his podcast, but he talked about other podcasts and how he was seeing them growing. And to me, I recognized an opportunity in a green space and looking back on it being that I, I stopped, I feel like I had squandered that opportunity. So uh, podcast really started to take off in 2016 and I kind of felt like I had missed a, a great opportunity, not saying that the podcast, my podcast would have been any more successful. Um, it was just missing an opportunity where the the amount of competition was lower would have give, given me an opportunity to obtain more listeners. And I kind of beat myself up over that and thought about never starting a podcast again. But then I realized that what was the point in doing that? I mean, I had the technology, I had the resources, it's relatively cheap to do a podcast, and if you hear my audio, uh, you'll probably realize that I'm a little too cheap when it comes to the sound quality. But beyond all of that, the real reason why I wanted to start a podcast was that I wanted to have an excuse to hear other people's perspectives whether if I agree with them or if I don't agree with them and be able to share that with as many people as possible and using podcasts being that um, you create it once and you send it out there and there's no cost to replicate it. That type of scalability made a lot of sense and being able to have the ability to sit down with people for an extended period of time with relatively low distractions is something that I grew up with that I see continuously diminishing as technology is encroaching on our everyday lives. When you look at things like the smartphone, you look at social media, these tools in these networks that are designed to capture your attention and hold them for as long of a time as possible um, makes it difficult to sit across from someone to have a meaningful conversation about who they are, where they come from, and how they view the world. And 
if this podcast never reaches the levels of a top 10 podcast, I'm completely comfortable with that, knowing that I had the opportunity to leverage it in a way to hear from others and and share their perspectives. And for you, the listener, first off, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. You could have listened to anything else uh, other than this. But um, for you, the listener, if you feel like you've passed up on an opportunity and it doesn't have to be podcasting, it could be anything. If you feel like you missed out on an opportunity, don't beat yourself up too much because no one has ever got a promotion from beating themselves up most. And what I've realized is that opportunity squandered, um, things that you could have done better, it serves you no purpose to dwell on those and let them hold you back from keeping you from moving forward. And when I look back at the opportunities that I've squandered and the potential not realized, I've realized that the only one who um, hurts from that realization and not acting um, and taking that information as a resource to get better, I realized that the only person that that hurts is me. So again, it doesn't have to be podcasting. It could be anything. Something that you have thought was going to work in the past and you, for whatever reason, you never acted on it. Don't allow that to be an excuse for why you don't try things moving forward. Use it as, a, as an opportunity to recognize patterns and, and recognize what happened before so that way you can apply it to the future and get better as a result. So again, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. It's not going to end like my first one. And hopefully I'll be able to carry that attitude and other areas that I'm not seeing now that are going to pass me by, but I'll be able to become a better individual on the other side when I find out. So thank you and have a great week.